Hi, hello and welcome to my channel. If you are new here, hi, my name is Veronica and I'm a big lover of makeup. So if you want to see more reviews, looks and more fun videos, don't forget to subscribe. In today's video, we are talking about my top products in each category. So if you are curious about that, please keep on watching. I saw that Kelly Gucci did this video and I was thinking that now I am able to do this type of video. I don't have three products in each category. For some I have two and for some I have actually four because I don't want to skip really good products and I don't want to mention products that are not my top top product. So today we are gonna do the face part and the next video will be the eyes and lips. So let's start with primer. In here I have two that are my top top favorites. The first one is the essence. It's an amazing primer. I mentioned this one in a bunch of videos, but it's so good. I, I just, you need this. <laughs> it's so affordable and so good and so hydrating and glowy. I, I can't <laughs> not recommend this one. So this is the Hello Good Stuff and this is my second one because I did finish my first one in the project pen. This, like I said, very hydrating, glowy, it sinks with, it sinks into the skin pretty fast. It's not sticky or uh, heavy or something like that. And I have combo skin. My T-zone is a bit oily and the rest of the face is pretty normal. And this works perfectly for me. And I could see this working for every type of skin because something hydrating, it's pretty good in general. And this is pretty lightweight. So if you have very, very oily skin, I could see this one working for you as well. So. This is an amazing product. And the other primer that I want to mention in here is the Hollywood Flawless Filter. As you can see, this is in my project pen right now. It has the marks. This is amazing as well. I love this one for mixing with foundation mostly. And it has just a bit of a tint, but not something very, very pigmented. So it adds just a bit of glow to any foundation and it looks amazing. And the other way that I've been using this one is by putting one dot or two of the Rare Beauty blush, the liquid one, and then putting some dots of this one and then blending it with a brush or even a sponge, but with the brush is, is a bit more pigmented and it looks better from the gecko. With the sponge, you need to build it up. And that combo creates the most beautiful highlighting glowy blush if you didn't try that, try mixing this one with the Rare Beauty blushes or you can mix this one on the back of your hand with some liquid blush if you want. If that is easier for you, it's so good. I really, I really love this one and I like that combo as well. Next we have foundation and in here I have three to mention. In general, I like a foundation that is medium coverage and that is pretty natural finish maybe a bit on the glowy side, maybe a bit on the matte side, but nothing on the extremes, if you know what I mean. So the first one that I really like is this one. And this is again my second bottle because I really like it. It's the NYX Born to Glow. And this name is suggesting that this is very glowy, but it's not. It is a natural finish foundation with just a bit of glow. It looks really nice. It's very easy to spread, doesn't look cakey or heavy or something like that and it's very liquidy that is the type of foundation that I really enjoy and this is a really good one the other one that I really really like from the drugstore is this one this is the L'Oreal True Match and I want to mention as well I have the shade Vanilla in the NYX one and this one is the shade 1N this as well very liquidy and it says it here super blendable foundation and that is true it's so liquidy so easy to blend i really appreciate that because usually you can spread it very easily and uh, you have a thin layer on your face and it looks more natural this one is amazing as well like i said a natural finish not very glowy not very matte it looks impeccable and the third foundation that I want to mention is this one. This is the Lisa Eldridge Seamless Skin and I have the shade number two. This is a bit more expensive, of course, and a bit more on the matte side. But 
like I said, it is a bit natural and a bit matte. So not very, very matte. I usually wear foundations just how I feel. If I want to use one, it doesn't matter how the coverage is or something like that. I just wear it if I want to. But if I would recommend a time to use this foundation, it is for a wedding or an event. Of course, like I said, you can wear it wherever or whenever you want. But I uh, find this one a bit more glam as a foundation. The other two are a more day-to-day -day wear, but this one a bit more glam. Let's move into concealers. And here I have three as well. Two from the drugstore and one high-end because usually that is my ratio. Usually I like something from the drugstore as well as something high-end. This is the True Skin High Cover Concealer from Catrice. And actually this is done. I did finish it in the project pen. This is amazing. You can use this one as foundation as well or at least as spot concealing and it looks really good it's medium coverage not cakey easy to blend it looks impeccable i i really like it this is one of my favorites and i could see myself repurchasing this at some point because it's really really good then i have the nyx one this is the bear with me concealer serum and i forgot to mention this is the shade neutral ivory number two and the next one is number, is not a number, is the shade light. This one as well, really, really nice on the skin. It has a serumy consistency and it's a bit glowy. It looks amazing on the under eyes, but it looks really, really good as foundation as well. It wears pretty good, looks pretty natural, a bit glowy, but absolutely beautiful. Doesn't emphasize texture or stuff like that. I really like it. It's a great concealer and this is my second one because I finished the first one. It's amazing. It is really, really good, glowy. So I could see somebody with a more mature skin really enjoying this one as well. And lastly, I have a very new concealer, but I adore this one already. This is the Natasha Denona High Glam Concealer. I have the shade N one in this one i am wearing it today it is in my project pen right now it's so beautiful and this one with this one i could just see a very very high glam because this is <laughs> called high glam a very glam look and very beautiful and perfected and this you need just a tiny bit of product it is a bit cakey if you are using too much so just use a little and it will wear beautifully. It will look beautiful. And this is a really good concealer, but you need a tiny amount. Let's move into powder for this one. I want to mention, of course, this one. This is my favorite powder. I just want to mention that. I will mention two other powders, but this is the true favorite. This is the Huda Beauty Easy Bake Loose Baking and Setting Powder and I have the shade Sugar Cookie, the white one, the clear one. This is perfect. I like baking with it. I like putting a bit more on the T-zone and letting it sit there for a bit because, like I said, I have an oilier T-zone. Usually for the rest of the face, I do use a pressed powder. But this one is amazing. It's setting absolutely everything into place it wears beautiful and sometimes if my concealer is creasing throughout the day i could just take my finger and just blend because i wear glasses so always most foundations all foundations actually or concealers are creasing a bit or my glasses are creating lines in here and i could just take my finger and blend in here and everything looks pretty good so i really like this powder it's amazing and the two other that i want to mention are pressed the first one is this one this is the nyx hd finishing powder and i could see somebody with normal skin use this one on the under eyes as well but for me i just prefer a baking powder there but this is an amazing powder it has just a bit of coverage and I have the shade Banana in here. And it, it is a really good powder 
overall. And the other one that I want to recommend is actually the one in the project pen is the LYS one. And this one I really like because it's so lightweight. This is absolutely perfect if you have dry skin or for me for the exterior of the face because like I said it is lightweight so it's not emphasizing any texture or it doesn't add any coverage or anything that <laughs> I, I just want something to set my foundation in here and in here and it does that perfectly so I really enjoyed this one next category we have bronzer and in here I have four products to mention and that is because in my eyes it is in general pretty easy to create a bronzer but i just love these four they are so creamy so easy to blend and i want to mention all four just because they are different and i want to give you options so let's start with um cream because if you are seeing that way i have two creams and two powders so it is what it is we can say that we have two different categories because they are different so cream this is one of my favorites it's so amazing so is the blend this is the rare beauty i have in here the shade bright side this is again this one i finished one and this is the second one this is almost brand new new and uh, this is a more cooler tone shade amazing product so easy to blend you can just apply this directly on your face take a brush take a smudge blend it out it's perfect every time it's so easy so easy to use i really like it the shades look pretty good and it's amazing i i can't recommend this one enough and i have another one that is from the drugstore if you don't like a stick bronzer or you want something from the drugstore this one is just as amazing it is in a pen i used the sponge with this one it's just way way easier and i am using it today it looks absolutely beautiful again very emollient easy to blend and it's really nice i have in here the shade light this is the makeup revolution ultra cream bronzer so if you want something from the drugstore i really recommend this one for powder bronzer i have the same one from the drugstore and one high-end but in this in this case in my opinion i don't want to call them dupes but they are alternatives i mean the drugstore one is a, an alternative to the high-end one but you you need to choose <laughs> what you want because they are both amazing bronzers but do you want to splurge and get the better packaging or you don't care about the packaging and you just want a bronzer because that is the difference in my humble opinion so i have in here the essence sun club matte bronzing powder and this is in one natural this is beautiful i want to mention the other one because they are in my eyes very similar and that one is the fenty in the shade in the sun number one this is the sun stalker instant warmed bronzer the thing that i like with both of these is that they are buildable and the shade of these is pretty light right now i do have a bit of tan and <laughs> if you see my hand is a bit darker than my face because i used a bit of a lighter foundation but in general i am a pretty light shade and these ones are perfect for my skin tone so if you have a pretty light skin tone you will find shades in both of these these are creamy buildable blendable i really like both of them both shades both products but as you can see this is broken and it was broken from the pretty beginning so do you want to splurge and get a way way better packaging with a mirror or you just want the product so i'm happy that i own both right now i could say that i like this one better because of the packaging but of course the price is very very different so yeah i wanted to mention both because i like both i love both but uh, one is more expensive so i wanted to give you options let's move into blush next and here it was very very hard because i really love a bunch of blushes 
So let's mention the three formulas that I picked. Like I said, I like other blushes as well, but these are my three top formulas. The first one is a cream and it is the Fenty Cream Blush. I love this formula. I finished one and I purchased two others. They are so incredibly <laughs> easy to use. I love this packaging. They are so small and compact and you can just put your sponge in here and apply it on your face and they look incredible. The first one that I have in here is Fuego Flush and this one is Rosé Latte. They are stunning. If you want a orange, if you want a warm yummy orange i really recommend this one it's so beautiful and it has some shimmer it's incredible and the other one if you want something a bit more neutral because this is a more brownie shade this is rosé latte amazing formula amazing colors as well and this packaging is 11 out of 10. then another formula that i really like is what i am wearing on top of a cream one I'm wearing on my cheeks the Melt Cream Blush Light and on top I have this one. This is the MAC in the shade, in the shade Warm Soul. This formula from MAC is really great as well. I have two shades. This is like I said Warm Soul and the other one is Sweet Enough. This, this one is a more um, matte shade or a satiny shade. And this is the Mineralized Blush. So beautiful. This again is in my uh, image of high glam makeup. And lastly, I have to mention the Benefit blushes. I have in here the Shelly shade. This is so beautiful as well. It's a bit shimmery, but not glittery or something. It looks natural and it is a really beautiful peachy kind of shade. Stunning. So these are my top three formulas. I absolutely love them. And lastly, let's end this video with highlighters. In here I have three. The first one is from the drugstore, but I have the same problem with this one as I have with the Essence one. It is broken and it makes me angry. I do care about packaging. I do care about the product, but I do care about packaging as well. This is the Wet n Wild. It's very old. I absolutely love it. It's one of my favorites, but the packaging is atrocious. So, if you don't care about it, this is an amazing highlighter, but if you care, I do have two other formulas that are high-end and that are amazing packaging as well, but very expensive. So, it is what it is. The next one that I really love is this one. This is the Natasha Denona Super Glow, and this is a normal gold shade but it looks wet on the skin and this again it's so good quality packaging it has a mirror so if you care about the packaging and you want to splurge this is an amazing highlighter looks wet is very beautiful on the skin lastly i have another one that is so glowy and so natural and it is a bit more natural because it is liquid this is the charlie tilbury beauty light one and i have the shade Spotlight, this is again a very pretty basic gold shade, but it looks so natural, so beautiful, so glowy. You can apply a small amount and just have some, um, some glow, or you can apply a bit more and you can see it from the space. So, or you can apply these two together and you will scare some uh, aliens. So, it is what it is. The way I'm applying this one is just putting one dot or two on my cheek and then immediately taking my finger and blending it out and then moving to the other cheek and that way it looks always great, doesn't remove my foundation or my blush or anything else and it's stunning. So these are all for face, we will move into eyes and lips on the other video but I just adore this product and I hope you found this video helpful. So if you like this video and you want to see more from me, please subscribe and give it a like and I will see you next time.